Hello to you and happy sunny Saturday. It's been a fantastic day here. I've spent most of it on the sun lounger outside resting my fat foot and uh, feeding my tanorexia, which has been fabulous. I did do some thinking though. You know that whole thing about John Key and how you know he shouldn't have done that bit of Q&A on Radio Live before the last election? Well, I was thinking about that. I know, we are doing. <laughs> I reckon the reason there was such an uproar about it is because no one invited anybody else. Like, I can understand inviting the Greens. There's some interesting things going on there. I can understand ALCP and the McGillicuddies. Why not? However, I can understand why no one would invite Phil Goff on a QA. and a You know what I'm saying? What do you ask Phil Goff for an hour? Nothing. Really? I've got nothing. Have you got anything? Nothing. Hey, nothing. I've got a, when I think of Phil Goff, I think of condescending prattle monster. That's what I think he is. And you know, I don't even think he really wanted to win the election. But we don't have to worry about that anymore because we've got David Shearer, the man in beige. Like, he is in one word, I think, beige. He's beiger than beige. Like, there's a reason no one heckled him at Waitangi. That's because they all forgot he was there and buggered off to have the hangi. Because when there's a hangi up and some beers flowing, who's going to stick around for the beige brigade? And oh, by that I don't mean cricketers either. Not that I find cricket interesting. Oh god, cricket. It's like church and coronation street. Either you love it or you really hate it. Speaking of which, it's Sunday tomorrow. When I catch you, we'll be talking the trade me auctions closing and possibly some other interesting ruminations. Mmm. Have a wonderful Saturday night. I'm off to play Scrabble with the Fano.